All right, so a quick project for today. Uh, while driving, my wife accidentally ripped off our uh, seven pin connector. Um, it's completely gone. This is the aftermath. Wires are all sorts of jacked up. So we're gonna have to go ahead and remedy this situation. Uh, so I just went on Amazon. I was able to pick up this new connector, eight bucks. And it came with this two millimeter uh, Allen wrench and the connector. We got the Allen wrench fits in so we can loosen up these um, set screws. So the next thing on the list is going to be a uh, Phillips head screwdriver and then the screwdriver will be used to clamp the wire into place. Next thing, next thing on the list, a uh, razor blade, some wire strippers, crimpers, some lineman pliers. You can use those for uh, uh, cutting the wire. Here's a different variant of, of uh, strippers. And then some optional ones is going to be these small ring terminals with a heat shrink on them. So I need a lighter or a heat gun in order to be able to shrink this down. Uh, my wiring happens to be uh, 22, uh, excuse me, 18 gauge. These ring terminals are uh, 22 to 18 gauge terminals. And then I'm also going to end up using uh, dielectric grease. So the first thing I need to do is I need to get in here and I have to strip down these wires. If you look closely, there's a break in the wire here. Now I don't know if that was the last time whoever I bought the trailer off of uh, cut the sheeting, the insulation off of it. It's not right. I'm not going to let it stay there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these down. Equal lengths. There's that. Now I'm going to push them back together. That way they stay nice and tight. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the connector and I'm going to take the plug out. You don't have to take these all the way out, just enough for the, the connector to uh, clear. Now this is something that's super easy. Anyone can do. And honestly, if you have a, a trailer that you use frequently, it's really something that you should learn how to do anyway. All the guesswork has been taken, taken out of it <clears throat> to make it just simple, absolute piece of cake. So then here we have the plug. Now each one of these is actually labeled to the color that's supposed to go on. We got brown, black, green, red, white, blue, and then the yellow will be in the middle. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this connector, we got this O-ring here, or this little uh, seal, this, this grommet. I'm gonna take that set screw out. Now I'm actually gonna take a little bit of grease here to help me slide the, the wire inside of there. Not a lot, just a little bit. Just help lube up, lube up the, the rubber O-ring. I hope the wire go in, won't hurt nothing. So now we got that on. Now we gotta take our razor blade. We gotta gently, gently cut this. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna strip a tad bit off of here, off of each wire, just enough to fit in the very end of the wire connector. Push it up to the yellow part. All right, I'll twist this up, and all of it down.
take our ring connector, slide it on there. I'm sure you've seen a million videos of this before. Twist it and we'll push it on there until it stops. And we're gonna find where the seam is on this one. It should be on the top. Put in the corresponding color clamp it down. That's it. Alright, there's our wires. So, we'll start with one. And we'll just see if we can't, uh, can't get the lighter to shrink that down a little bit. Alright, there we have it. I ended up having to get, grab, go grab my heat gun because the, uh, right when I went to hook these things up and start heating them up, the I got a uh, slight breeze that came through and it really made things difficult, so. All right, now we're just gonna go red. We'll start here. Just take the screw, pull that out. We'll put a dab of grease on there. Like I said, this isn't necessary. This is just me being anal and going above and beyond. Just peace of mind. Most people don't do this. They just take the wires and they jam it in there. And it's good and they don't have any problems. Shoot. But I like the, I like knowing that there is a mechanical connection here. It's also aiding in, in keeping this together. So there's one. And we'll just do the same thing with all of the connections. There's that. <clears throat> Simple. All you gotta do is follow the colors, hook the wires up. And remember this only applies if the trailer is actually hooked up to code. Now all we have left to do is pull up the, the housing, and then you can only put it together one way. You've got a groove here, you got a groove here. It'll only fit in there one way. So if it doesn't go in, well, fat groove, no groove. So if it doesn't fit, then you need to change the way that it's plugged in. And the last last little thing that's that you need to do is just snug those down nothing tight nothing too tight so get these there's that we got the set screw and gotta get it in the right help start it with your fingers because you are dealing with plastic so it'll strip out in a matter of seconds now the one last thing that I like to do is I like to put just a dab of grease on this and the only thing the grease is for is to keep things help prevent things from corroding it's not necessary it's not it's not excuse me it's not required but It'll help moisture, help keep moisture out, and it'll help, uh, it'll actually make it easier to, to plug it in and, and take it apart. That's it. It's that easy. Done. Now we'll check it out in operation.